Lighting on our way home from church is the best. I love it. It's my favorite. It's a perfect time of day to look like Batman. Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. We are on our way back from church. Um, I taught again today and I think it went pretty well. Yeah, yeah. did good. Yeah, I, I enjoyed teaching and I always get comments that I always have a lot of energy. She teaching. does. So. She has the best energy when she's teaching. It's really interesting. I feel like just in general, when you teach stuff, it's really you can. So you, get, she's really excited. I about get it. really excited, and then I'm just like, this and this and whenever, this is so cool, and this is awesome. And whenever she asks a question, she does this little like shake, like like jig, until someone answers the question. There was just a like, nine-year-old who hitched, who tried to hitchhike with us. That was. Really I feel weird. like that's a really bad decision, little nine-year-old kid. Don't he's, hitchhike with strangers. He's probably twelve, but like, there's just this little kid on the side of the road, and he's just like, like <laughs> what? Well, we're only going like 10 feet, so it wouldn't yeah. really make sense. We're almost home. We were just gonna go like half a block more to get home, so there wouldn't really any, be any point to drive this kid. <laughs> but that was really weird. I've never had anyone try to hitchhike with me before. Anyway. Let alone a 12 year old. No, but it was it was good, I feel like, and I don't really like reading from the scriptures in class, just because I feel like it's I've challenged them all to read the scriptures this year, so they should have they should already be at that point where they've read past where I've we are in the scriptures. Someone's in my parking spot. Oh, that's annoying. Well, someone's in a parking spot and Chris is taking care of that. It's kind of annoying. Mm, boo. Anyway, um what I was saying no. though was just that I don't like just reading straight from the scriptures because I feel like that gets really boring. I'd rather have like a discussion and hear people's opinions and people's thoughts and all sorts of stuff. Oh, I'm blinded. Anyway, so that's what I would prefer. And so that's what I try to do. And I feel like I get pretty positive feedback about it where people are like, yay, we didn't just like sit there and read the whole lesson the whole time. We actually got to discuss stuff and talk about stuff. So that was good. There's a snowman. So that snowman was outside our apartment. Now we're going inside, woo. But I don't think I've seen snowmen very often that three big like three balls of snow or whatever or two two balls depending on how you do it or whatever but like I always see them like just the balls stacked on top or whatever but that yeah. one's just like a big mound of snow and it's kind of interesting it's not very um normal or whatever I feel like so that was kind of cool I don't remember seeing them this morning when we left I don't think it was there this morning, so that's Someone kind of... made it in the few hours that we were gone. Awesome. Good job, children. Or maybe possibly an adult. Who knows? It was pretty tall. Maybe it was an adult. But anyway, that was pretty... Child, so. Yeah, it was a pretty cool snowman. I liked it. Anyway, so we're home now, and we're going to eat, and hopefully it's delicious and wonderful. I don't know what we're eating, but I feel like Chris is probably really hungry. Yes. He's always starving after he gets home from church. I'm not really hungry yet. I didn't really eat much of breakfast. I was too nervous to eat because teaching it like it makes me happy but at the same time I get like really anxious about it not going well or about me not knowing what to say or whatever so I always feel anxious and can't eat before church very well so I just had like a bagel and that was it like a mini bagel like I hardly ate anything and so I'm still kind of on the after bit of that I'm still rioting the I still feel really anxious and won't be able to eat for the next probably hour or so but Chris is gonna eat and then we're just gonna be a little bit, yeah I'm gonna try to stay up relaxing. until like eight o'clock tonight and then crash because I'm really tired but I don't want to go to sleep because I want to get on a normal schedule so I'm gonna try to force myself to stay awake hold yeah. me to it stay awake all day long and then we can actually go to sleep at a normal time tonight and you can wake up at a normal time tomorrow <gasps> that would be so that nice would be a, that would be the weirdest thing that's happened in two weeks. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like I always, I've just been up all night for the past week or more, and I keep waking up. It's been happening for a week now. I, I will like fall asleep after Chris leaves, or I'll stay up for a bit and then have to fall asleep. Eventually, I have to nap during the day, or I just sleep through the whole day, depending on how much sleep I've gotten. And I always wake up exactly at three exactly at three it's like almost on the dot within the five minutes of three i'm always wake up it's the weirdest thing it's like if i don't even get up in the morning at all and i just sleep straight through from like 7 30 when chris gets up straight through to three or if i do get up and do stuff for a bit and like i go to sleep at like 10 or 12 i still just sleep through till three and then wake up and then stay up until like or 5 a.m. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing though. I don't know why it's three. I just I can't get it. And um, every 
the other day, Chris and I slept late. I think it was yesterday. We slept late, late, and we woke up, and Chris was like, "What time is it?" And I was like, "I woke up naturally. So what time do you think it is?" And he's like, "Oh gosh, is it three? And I'm like, "Yes, <laughs> it's three. So three haunts me, and I need to escape three because I'm not okay with it."